my name is Cuppy Kate and welcome back to our Zoo Quest series. We are back here on our island that we found on the last episode. I went ahead and I put our sleeping bag down and I cooked up those sand blocks to make glass bottles and I even went ahead and cooked up the glass bottles so we could get a drink of fresh water. So I'm hoping today that will set up our campsite just a little bit better than we have it. This island is a little bit small, which I didn't quite think about, I think because I was just so excited to get started. But we can still make a pretty decent little campsite here until we can get over there and start building the boo, which is going to take some time. I want to get the saw, which requires diamond. It's a part of the chisels and bits mod but it makes for building so much better. It really, really does. So we'll have to wait until we get diamond, but hopefully that won't take very long. I will be cutting or speeding up most of my mining sequences and we'll have time lapses for the builds. So you'll still be able to see a whole building process uh, when we actually get to that point, but you'll see it sped up just a little bit, probably since I have the replay mod you'll get to watch me, my little character, um, go in and build it as well. So that'll be a fun little scene for you guys, I hope. <laughs> I haven't tested it out yet, so hopefully everything doesn't break when I do it. <laughs> okay, let's see. So let's go ahead. We have a bunch of wood here. Um, I'm going to do this, though. Well... Thought processes are slow sometimes. I'm gonna go ahead and make a special kind of crafting table from the, let's see, it's a custom NPC mod. It adds different things to the game. What is it called? I think it's called Varied Commodities. Yes, Varied Commodities. We wanna build this. This right here will allow us to build some crates. There are probably other crates we can make too I didn't even think about but they look a lot prettier. And I want even our campsite to look pretty, even though we'll probably tear it down later and it will be completely irre irrelevant at some point. I love the idea of our little campsite looking nice and cozy while we wait to get the items we need to build the Zoo Quest Boo. Okay, that's not even that hard to make. I just don't have any more raw wood. So I'm gonna make just the very commodities crates. That's not what I wanted. Silly me. I need to put this down. <laughs> Here we go. Perfect. And then it wouldn't hurt to build a chest as well. What? Awesome. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. oh, I do need wood. Darn it. Hmm. Here, we'll grab a little bit. I want to build a little campfire, which we probably won't use. I've been looking at our temperature gauge and it seems totally fine for right now. I haven't noticed myself heating up or cooling down. So like I said, we may not light the campfire, but it would be cute to have one kind of in the middle there. Hi, little birdie nest. Um, pelican egg and this. Oh my goodness. This is getting so full. All right, grabbing some wood, hopefully. No, yes, there we go. It was an extra large shrub. It looked like two, but it wasn't. I need exactly four pieces, <laughs> exactly four. I have built this enough time to know. There've been several times when I was playing on my own that I started out in a really cold biome and I needed that campfire. That campfire saved my bootay several times. Okay, let's build this campfire. I kind of don't know exactly how I want to do. Hmm. Oh, we had chest, I'm a dummy. That's okay, cucumber seeds. I'm gonna pick these up. I like them, but I kind of don't want them to spread on this island. We have so much limited space as it is. More seeds. Okay, do we have any dirt? No, that's fine. 
So we will have to make this a tidbit small, but it should be okay. It should be okay. All right, let's give ourselves some reorganization here. How are you doing, Kiba? I hear her back there. She just did a little bark. You see her paws are twitching? Oh, she must be having a dream. Are you okay, baby? Yeah? <laughs> I love my puppy, guys. <laughs> he just... Surely some of you understand what it is to just... Just love an animal as much as, as I do. Okay. So sleeping bag. We're going to pick you up. I think we're going to build a bridge here. So we kind of want to leave this open a little bit. We're going to remove this gravel. Hmm. Okay, so since that's going to be the way I... Mm, we might put the crafting table there. And then, let's see, the furnace, the furnace, we might move to the other side, right here, like these two together. Nope, I kind of hate that. <laughs> this is just a camp, I shouldn't take it so seriously. It is a little wider over here, and we could potentially do our workstation over here and just have our sleeping bag over here on the gravel. In fact, it kind of makes sense to have a furnace on gravel anyway because it gets so hot, you could just burn the ground underneath it. Okay. Okay, crafting table. I tell you what, you're going to come over here with me. You know what? We're going to put you right there. That's exactly what we're going to do. And then I'm going to take this crate that was already there and we're going to put it here. Perfect. We're going to take a chest and stick it right on top. Yeah, maybe. We could move this and make another crate and stick it behind and then the chest on top. That might be a better idea. That is what we're going to do. Yep, that's what we're going to do. Crafting bench here. We're going to do another crate, so I need that table. Right here. <laughs> I'm like, where did the table go? I'm losing everything. <laughs> okay, that looks good. Let's make another crate. This is going to be so great. We're going to be able to keep our storage together right away. This gets, <laughs> when you have a mod pack as big as this one, it is so hard to stay organized, but it's also just kind of imperative to be organized. Okay, I actually think we are going to switch the place of the crafting table and this little guy right here. I think we're gonna put the crafting table here and this here. That's not bad. I, I will move this though. We might end up doing the crafting table here. Okay, that actually looks really good. That looks like a good like little workstation. Okay, and then ooh, since I know I have this, I'm gonna go ahead and make ourselves a stone pickaxe before I forget. Boop. Oh, I thought it made me a hoe for a second. I was like, no, I didn't want a hoe. Okay. We're gonna put our food away now. I think these little gardens I'm gonna stick down here, they're full of food. That's from the Pam's Harvest Craft, which I can't wait to get into. Ugh. We're gonna have a little farm on our island that's like right behind our house so we can always do cooking if we need to. Okay, I think I would also like to make one more crate. One more crate, here we go. And stick it. I want our sleeping bag to be over in the grass because I genuinely don't love the idea of sleeping <laughs> anywhere else than grass. Gravel is so uncomfortable. We could sleep right next to the water, but mm, that doesn't seem like fun. Okay. 
So yes, we're gonna stick our crate. We wanna be kinda close. Maybe we'll stick our crate right here and our sleeping bag right here. Oh, I guess it was nighttime. <laughs> that surprised me a little bit. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we're going to do that. That way I can put a little lantern right there. We'll have some light going for us. I can even get a campfire kind of started a little bit. Maybe like right here. That's awfully close, though. It's not too terrible. Or we could put it over here. Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll see where we'll put the campfire. Which I will go ahead and not make because I used the last three stone to make the pickaxe. Oh, well. Alright, back to this. I'm going to put the seeds here. Oop. We'll just replant this. Deek. What's in our backpack? So much stuff. Okay. We need to be a little more organized. I think the analyzer, I wonder if we shouldn't just put that in the mine rather than over here, but we could put the analyzer here and the two chest here. That way we can keep all of our um, fossil and archaeology stuff kind of organized and together. And then eggs. I think eggs will go here. Oh, you know what? Actually, we're going to put eggs next to us because we want to protect them and keep them safe. Okay. I have more seeds. I'm sure this is exactly what you guys wanted to watch was me organizing. <laughs> this is probably your favorite. There we go. And all of that in there. Oh, we got another egg. There we go. Perfect. We're going to stick those back in there. This is actually looking pretty good, you guys. I'm really, like, enjoying this. <laughs> okay, so what else do we have in our backpack? Ah, yes. Coral. We may need a place to put plants. I'm also going to put these in here. Those are our little books. Plants. I'm trying to think about plants. We could build more crates if we wanted to. I could go ahead and find another tree to chop down. Maybe we'll do that. What do you think, Kiba? What do you think, girl? She's like, go do what you gotta do, mum. Alright, I already see some jungle trees over there, so we'll go get them down. I see a palm tree too. I actually adore the way that wood looks. Ooh, scary sounds are scary. <laughs> All right, we're gonna grab this tree right here. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Ooh, look! It's an Indian gharial. I think that's how you say that. Indian gharial. Oh. Oh. I think he might be scoping me out. Stay there. I am not food today. I am not food today, sir. Um, this is a problem. <laughs> uh, uh, Mr. or Mrs. Indian Gariel, I, I don't think that is a good place for you. Um, it also appears that you may need help getting out of it, but I have a feeling you're gonna attack me right away. Okay. I'm trying not to hit you, I promise. Okay, shh, 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 shh. It's okay, it's okay. I wasn't trying to hurt you. I just wanted to get you out of the boat. You're welcome. Okay, let me grab the boat. Ah, 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 ah. Yay, I wasn't mad. <laughs> That's so good. All right, we're gonna leave that Indian Gary will be for right now. <laughs> oh, I was so worried. I thought for sure once I broke that boat, he was gonna be like, arm and, and nab me. <laughs> All right, Kiba, don't go over there. There's a very hungry looking like almost crocodile. 
<laughs> okay, let's see. So I want to try and make, there was a different crate that looked kind of pretty. That's jungle. Oh, that we are, yeah, that, that we have jungle planks. Okay, let's see if we can make this. I do need to make a few more planks though. All right, let's give, yeah, let's give this a shot. I, I love learning about new furniture and stuff. Ooh. Let's see here. Oh, that's actually really cool looking. Okay, interesting. So it's not nearly as big as these. You know what, though? We're actually going to... Hello? Uh... Did I pick it up? Did it just break? Did I miss something? What? Okay, I guess we'll make another one. Are these not breakable? That's bizarre. Okay, well let's pick up this one and all the stuff inside. That one was fine. It says axe. And then when I broke it, currently harvestable. I don't think that's supposed to happen. So, I want to go ahead and point out that I hate cheating. I don't like using cheats because it's cheaty. But when you have as many mods as I do, <laughs> there's bound to be bugs, especially since I created the mod pack myself and I am no coder or mod pack professional. <laughs> There's bound to be issues. So, we are going to switch our game mode to creative. I'm going to search. Crate. And we are going to give us two of those. And just remember that if we break them, they will always be broken. Okay. Two jungle crates. Now we're going back. There we go. Okay. <laughs> uh, so... <laughs> that kind of sucked. I'm not gonna lie. That was kind of dumb. That that happened. Okay. So in other words, we can't really move anything of the sort. That's fine. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and make one more crate. I know this seems extensive, but I really like to be organized. Especially if we're organized now in the beginning, when we get to the actual boo, then we'll be a lot happier. <laughs> All right, this one I'm gonna put side by side and I'm just gonna stick this crate on top. Nice, very nice. And then I'm gonna take this little purple guy back Oh, I love it! I love it! Okay, very nice. So, what do we have in here? We don't have anything in there yet. I have food in here and seeds, which we'll probably have to move over here. This is gonna be building. We've got our eggs here. Well, we were gonna put eggs here. We might actually put eggs over here for now. Please don't be broken where your stuff still stays. Okay. <laughs> you never do know with these things, I'm just saying. Okay. I think we're gonna move saplings here. And then we'll also put plants in here. Eventually we'll have to separate them at some point. Okay, we've got food and seeds here. That's for that eggs here. I kind of want to put mob drops in here. And then we need like an important crate. I'm sorry I keep doing that. Forgive me. <laughs> like that. Okay. We're also going to put our hermit crab in here. Please don't be broken. Please don't break. Okay. Thank goodness. There we go. There's our hermit crab. And all of our tools and our extra things can go in here. Boop. 
Oh my gosh, we're so organized, you guys. This is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> is there anything left in our backpack? No, that is the best. Okay, we do have a sifter though. Where do we want to put the sifter? Sifter here. Kind of works. As long as we don't break the crate though, we're fine. We just can't break that crate. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, perfect. Oh, this looks so good. It looks like a true just place where we're working. Oh, this is exactly what I wanted. And then, hmm, this is a, gold, a good tool to have. We'll keep those. We don't need the gravel. Eventually, once we start kind of going into the mining area, I'll put some chests down in the mine, and that's where we'll put things like the gravel and stuff. And then I think for now, we'll just put the bone meal in with the droppings. What do you think, Kiba? I really love it. Okay, but we do need some food. Maybe we'll go ahead and break some, br uh, break some bread? Make some bread. Okay, if we make it into barley flour, so we can do it this way. But barley flour, if you cook it, makes bread. And we have a bunch of barley. Okay, so we'll do this. And then, hmm. I'll need three more, but I really need torches. That's a little more important right now. So we'll start with just our six pieces of bread because I need the torches more than I need the bread. Okay, and then I need more stone to make a shovel. So we'll go ahead. We need to figure out where we're gonna put our mine. So let's have a little bit of a walk around of our island. What should we call our island? Do you guys have any ideas? We're building the Zoo Quest Boo, but I kind of don't want to call it... Well, we could call it Boo Island. That That's kind of funny. Boo Island. That's what we're calling it. <laughs> it's official. Boo Island. Okay, so ideally the best place for us to build a mine is kind of inside of a hill where we could easily get to it. I kind of love the idea... Ooh of a bridge going in. Gosh, that's gonna be great mining down there. That's essentially a ravine is what it is. Oh, but I'm a little nervous. Hmm. I'm just trying to get a feel of where it could potentially go. I think like that hill is too small. I like the idea of the house being right here or the house being up there. We could put the mine on this side because it's a little bit smaller of an island. <gasps> a deer. Two deer. Hello. They're so frightened. They're like, no, no, thank you. So frightened. I, I kind of love the idea of the house being here. Or it could be up here. And we could have the mine go. Spoopy sounds are spoopy. Could have the mine go through here. Hmm. Decision making. We could also, though, we could have a bridge that goes across and it could just come right into that. That kind of seems cool. That seems very cool. I would love for it to go through here, but we have just as big of a hill right here, so it doesn't make sense structurally. But having a bridge come, we could shave this down a little bit, have a bridge come right through here, and it could go into that hill, potentially. We could even have a bridge go from here over to there, and it could go in there. Hmm. Okay, so I want to check the other side. So I want, yeah, I want to check that other island just to see if it doesn't possibly have a better place to put the mine, like a bigger hill or something. But I think that might be the best option or to put it up there, but we shall see. 
because this hill is pretty substantial right here too. And it could just run right in here. That might actually be best. I love this hill though, but there's really no good way to enter it. I heard a horrible sound. What was that? Oh, it was my tummy. <laughs> it was my tummy. It was saying, hey, you're hungry. You need to eat some stuff. Maybe we could build the house like right up here and then we could see everything. I don't know. It was a thought. We have a lot of options. I mean, we could even put a big tree over here and this could be like a, a sacred place. I know, tummy. I know you're hungry. You'll be okay though. You'll be okay. We could even build the mine in that hill, actually. Because I know you're hungry. You know, I feel kind of silly now because looking at this, we could have a bridge that goes straight across, straight into the mine. If we did build the house over there, we could just have a path that comes all the way down into the mine. I think that's our best option. And it's right there, so it's super convenient for where we have our camp right now. I feel silly for coming to that conclusion kind of late. Okay, so now that we've decided where we're going to put the mine, I think what I'm going to do is go ahead, go into that hole that's over there, grab a few pieces of stone. Oop, that's not what I intended. <laughs> we're going to make a shovel because we're going to need, ooh, pineapples. We're gonna need a shovel to build kind of a hole into that. And this is what happens when you're not paying attention. Oh, are those glue shrimps? Okay. Well, we're here now. Hello? Hello? Oh, that looks like it goes straight down. I can't even see. Oh, that's dark. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> like I said, I'm going to grab a few pieces of stone over here. <sighs> I hope you guys had a good laugh. <laughs> All right. Reset. Going to build the shovel. We're gonna make ourselves a shovel, and then hopefully we'll be able to start making a hole into that hill next time, because I am just about out of time right now. Oh, and to build bridges. Yeah, to build a solid bridge that just goes whoop, right across. What do we need to do that? Let's go ahead and check that real quick before we say goodbye. Bridge. Ooh. Bridge. Okay, so we have a bunch of jungle wood here. So let's see the, that's a rope bridge. Jungle bridge. Oh, that takes nothing. That take, that's a piece of cake. We can do that. Heck yes. Okay, there's my shovel. I'm trying to decide if I should build a sword, a stone sword, or if I should wait for iron. I'm gonna wait for iron. I'm gonna be naughty and wait for iron. Okay. <laughs> okay. So if we do this, that's a fit. I always confuse those. Every time I confuse those. Do two of these. No? Yes. There we go. Okay. And then that's the end. I want to build the beginning. That makes four? Yes! Can we do another one? Do we have enough? No, we don't. Okay, we don't have enough to do another one. And then we just need two ends, right? <gasps> Did we do it? Did we? Okay, wait, 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 wait. wait. Alright, so if we put the end... Oh, that's, that's nice. That's really nice. 
Okay, and then... Oop. I love this! Okay. Oh, I was one short! We can fix that. We're about to dig into this, aren't we? Yeah. We're about to dig into this right now. Oh, gimme, gimme, gimme. That's gonna be our entrance. So we can just kind of recreate what we did here. Okay. <gasps> there we go! There's our bridge! Oh, it's so perfect! And it goes right into the mine. We could just make a little pathway that goes right... Oh, it's great! And it was so easy! Uh, thank you, Makaz, uh, for making this wonderful mod. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna have a wee bit of a, of a little bit of a nap and then we'll say our goodbyes. Hopefully next time we'll actually get to go in there and start creating a, a like a hole in the hill and we can start moving some of the, fur like we could move the furnace or we could keep the furnace here and just put more furnaces in there and make a functioning mine. Maybe even get an anvil going. Oh, and I can't wait to build the hammer. The hammer makes things so much easier. <laughs> I had tinkers in here, but tinkers, I only ever built the hammer. I never used anything else with it, and it's such a big mod, I thought, let me just find a mod with a hammer. So I got Sparks Hammers mod, and it is just as great, if not better, <laughs> at least for just the hammer purpose. Okay, here we go. Look at our bridge, this is so great! Okay, hold on, I gotta take a screenshot. That is awesome. I love this bridge. Oh, and we'll have a couple of them going back and forth between the two islands so that we can get from one side to the other, whether it's to our garden or to where we're keeping our animals. However, we end up doing this on our Boo Island. <laughs> this is gonna be great. Oh, well, thank you guys so much for watching. We have just started, so I hope that you stick around. If you enjoyed this video, give the like button a tickle and a poke. <laughs> poke it. And then if you want to see more, please subscribe and come hang out with us as we build this zoo. I know in the beginning it's a little slow, but once we get this mine up and running and we've got the hammer working for us, we'll be able to get our Boo Island up and running and then hopefully find a place where we can start setting out a layout for where the zoo's gonna be and we can even start talking about what are the first exhibits we want to do because that's gonna be the really exciting part other than watching the builds i i'm really sure that you guys are gonna enjoy that but anyways let me know what you're enjoying in the comment section what you want to see more of what you want to see less of any advice that you have i want to hear it i love you guys and i'll see you next time bye bye